Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. <laughs> My name's Stuart Wheeler, and I'm very proud to be the treasurer of UKIP. I'm going to speak for definitely less than 10 minutes, but I do have some very important things to say to you, so I hope that I can ask you to listen. I'm going to tell you where we are financially, where we need to be, what we are doing about the situation, and what you can do about the situation. Now, first of all, I'm going to ask you to do something very unusual. I would like you, please, to switch your mobiles on, on, and switch them to silent, however, and I'll come back to the reason for that very shortly. Now, politically, UKIP is doing absolutely fantastically well. In fact, UKIP has a once in a generation, perhaps once in a century, opportunity. I was going to say an opportunity to change the face of British politics. But the fact is, we've done that already, have we not? <laughs> and so the opportunity now is actually to get so far ahead that we can make these very important things that we want actually happen. Politically, therefore, the situation is fantastic. I'm very sorry to have to tell you that financially, the opposite is true. Since February, our reserves have diminished by more than two thirds. What happened? Well, in February, we had had the marvelous result at Eastleigh. Thank you, Diane James. And on top of that, our activists had been extremely important, and I know very well that many of them are here today, and thank you. And, and as a result of that, we've got many more members. Now, more members are needed for all kinds of reasons. They're very valuable for all kinds of uh, reasons. But I am the treasurer, and so I do rather look at at the financial side of it, which is that members are very important for that as well. Then we got a legacy, a big legacy, and some smaller ones. Now, just to digress for a moment, uh, we all know that we're going to die, or so I am told. <laughs> and I'm going to die before most of you because I'm 78. But we don't know when it's going to happen. It can happen at any time to any of us. So please, if you have not done so already, please will you leave us a legacy when you get home. That good situation in February was that. But since then, there have been huge expenses. We still had to pay for Eastleigh, and that cost us 94,000 pounds. Actually, it was money very well spent because apart from Diane James's marvelous campaign, we did something completely new. We got a letter from our leader out to every voter the very day that the election was announced. And while it is thought that we would have got a pretty good result anyway, perhaps 18%, what we actually got, what Diane James got, was 27.8% and we very nearly won. So the money, although it caused financial difficulties, was very, it did earn, it did earn a very good result. Then came the 2nd of May elections, and they were very important, and we spent very heavily on them. We spent 80,000 pounds directly on them, and we spent 200,000 pounds during that period advertising. Now, I think you'll all know, but we had a fantastic result again. In the areas in which we stood, which were most of the available areas, we got 25% nationally, yes, 25%, and 
an amazing result. And the money we spent was, of course, not the only reason, but it was a very important reason. So that was a very big expense for UK. On top of that, the fact that we have a rapidly growing membership has meant that we have had to, and we're pleased to in a way, hire some excellent, extra competent staff. So that's been another expense. And also, the Conservatives and the other parties have spent goodness knows how much money trying to discredit us, trying to find out anything they could about us which would be awkward. And we've had to spend money doing what we could about that. Finally, on our expenditure side, we've got a new London office, and it is making a terrific difference for us. It has cost money, but it would have cost us a lot more but for the generosity of Andrew Reid, who has terribly kindly made the offices available to us free of all rent. And so I'd like to thank him for that. In spite of that generosity, there are still expenses. We have to pay council tax, and there are other expenses. So that is another expense. Right, so what do we need? Every month, if nothing special happens, and that is a very big if, but if nothing special happens, we need about 80,000 pounds in the month. If we have a by-election, and now that we're in the second half of a parliament, so people get older, there are going to be more by-elections, if we're to fight it really successfully, we need about 80,000 pounds per by-election. And then the most important thing of all, in a way, anyway, is the next May elections, both European and perhaps equally important, the local elections on the same day. If we had the money, or if we get the money, we would spend up to four million pounds on those. They are incredibly important to UKIP and I would say to the country. So what are we doing about it? Well, just recently, we appointed a new money-raising firm, a firm that specializes in getting donations and so forth, to help us get the money we need. Obviously, obviously, there is no guarantee that they will succeed. But on the basis of the references, which I have taken up, and I was quite rigorous about that, and also on the basis of what I have seen of them so far, I think there's an excellent chance that they will help us and help us a lot. And of course, I shall be working with them all the time. Now, what else have we done? Well, I am redoubling my own efforts with the big donors or potentially big donors. Um, that involves dinners for Nigel Farage, Nigel Farage to meet uh, small groups of them from time to time and explain why it's so important that they should give money to us. And I have a limitless, an enormous number of one-on-one -on -one meetings. So that I shall redouble my efforts on that, as I say. Now, well, I wish they'd been more successful. What can you do? Four simple things. Or five, actually. First, get us a new member. You're all here, obviously, because you believe in our causes. So it shouldn't be too difficult to persuade a friend or a member of your family that he or she should be a member of UKIP. Please make it your ambition to get one new member by Christmas. Of course, the more the merrier, but just make a huge effort to get one. Secondly, I was very surprised when I took over as treasurer to find that when people paid their subscriptions, a lot of them gave a donation at the same time. And this was so much the case that it added 42% to what we would have got from subscriptions alone. So I do ask you, if you feel you can afford it, when you, and please do try to afford it, to give us a donation when you send in or pay your subscription in some other way. Thirdly, please leave us a legacy. There will be a pack coming 
showing you exactly how to do that. Firstly, you will not get out of this hall <laughs> at 5 to 11 or 11 when it's coffee time and so forth without passing a man or a woman with a smiling face. <laughs> You'll notice, I'm sure, that I make no differentiation between men and women. <laughs> and please, please give them a nice gift. That will make them smile even more. And you know how noisy coins are. Just try to make it a paper one if you can manage that. <laughs> now, fifthly, I hope behind me, no, it's not the case. I was hoping that there was going to be a number behind me, so I'm going to say a number twice. Now, the reason why I uh, asked you to switch your mobiles on, ah, it is that, is I'd like you now, or the moment I've finished, please, to text UKIP78866, and the effect of your doing that will be that you have thereby immediately given a donation of five pounds to UKIP. So I shall be very grateful if you will do that. Now, let me summarize. Politically, we are doing fantastically, and I don't need to tell you that, really. Financially, I'm very sorry as treasurer to have to admit that it's the opposite. We are not doing fantastically. We need money very, very badly. I'm sorry I haven't raised more. So, what you can do is get us a new member, give us a donation with your subscription, leave us a legacy, and give us some money right now. <laughs> Thank you very much. I hope you enjoy the rest of the day. And I'm just about to hand over to Mark Harland, who is actually going to tell you a sixth way in which you can help us. But you might be glad to hear that what he is going to ask you to do may well help you as well.